Good morning, lovely children of the kingdom. We once again meet online to talk about our heritage as the children of God. Before we begin, let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we are your children and we love you for you loved us first. You chose us to be called by your name. Your Holy Spirit lives in us, guiding and directing us. You protect us from sin and you are our source. On you we depend. This morning we commit our minds, our thoughts and our souls to you to lead us and to teach us. We pray for courage to live in hope daily. We pray all this in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. So last time when we met virtually in our separation, because we are not seeing each other, so we are separated from one another, uh, and we can only communicate via uh, technology in a remote way because we don't have that direct interaction. We don't talk one-on-one uh, -on -one and respond to one another. However, we still communicate. So I gave you an assignment to go and draw your visualization and share with it uh, with me via uh, WhatsApp. However, I did not receive anything from my lovely children, but that's not bad. It doesn't uh, separate us. I still love you and I'm still uh, going to continue to reach out to you and talk to you and I hope when we eventually meet again, you bring me all my answers that I've been asking for. So, um, guess what? This thing of getting overwhelmed and sometimes not doing what you're supposed to be doing is uh, normal in human beings and we can conquer it by uh, making efforts to always uh, keep a close contact with those that we need to be communicating with. So we are not separated totally, although we are physically separated. Today, uh, we are going to talk about um, a thing that, uh, the topic that nothing can separate us from the uh, love of God. You know how loving our God is. He sent Jesus to die for us. And when uh, Jesus arose and went back home, he sent us the Holy Spirit to come and live with us. That is great love from our Lord. So he says nothing can separate us from him. Let us read from his word in Romans 8 from verses uh, 35 to 39. And hear what he says about this bountiful love that he has for us the word reads who shall separate us from the love of christ shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword as it is written for your sake we face death all day long we are considered as sheep to be slaughtered now in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am con convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, or anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. What a lovely scripture and an assurance for us to know that our Lord loves us so much. So as I was reading from there, there are a few words that popped up. And these words are separation. Uh, we talked about suffering, persecution, sword, uh, nakedness, tribulation. Depending on which version you are reading, you find that there are a number of words that are popping up. So this week, I require you to go and uh, get your dictionary and research on what these words mean and what they mean to you as an individual. I just want us uh, to pay particular attention to uh, suffering and tribulation. Currently, I know and we all know that we are living 
uh, through this COVID-19 and it is stressing us in so many ways. Some of us are not able to go for sleepovers anymore. We cannot go shopping with mom and daddy. Um, we are not supposed to uh, go out without masks. So it just feels like we are suffering so much. But you know what? We have life in us. And above all, we have our God who is protecting us. So in all this, he's with us. He is not separated from us. And that gives us a lot of comfort. And you know, uh, some of our friends are no longer able to eat uh, three meals a day or even a meal a day. Some of them don't even have accommodation because their parents have lost jobs because of this COVID. And that means they are suffering a great deal. And we need to always uh, remember them in our prayers and when we are enjoying the blessings that we have in our lives we should also reflect on those who do not have um, our lord who is the greatest king of this universe says he is going to be uh, with us and we are conquerors through him that loved us what a blessing to know that we are loved so much that even in these difficulties in life God is in, uh, still with us and he loves us and he's going to be with us through it all. So we are comforted. So children, I want to say to you, continue hoping in Christ. Continue loving Jesus, knowing that he loves us and they know that there is nothing that can take us away from his love. So what does his love mean for us? He protects us. He builds a hedge of protection for us. Even in this COVID season, we know he's with us. So we wake up and we are alive in him because he's protecting us. And we know that he loved us a long time ago and he still loves us now. And he's going to love us forevermore. No matter what we go through, he's with us and he's still showing his love to us. So with that, children, I want to say stay safe, stay blessed, and continue loving our Lord. And I want you to sing very loudly. The love of Jesus is so wonderful. The love of Jesus is so wonderful. The love of Jesus is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love is so high. You can't go over it, it's so wide. You can't go round it, it's so deep. You can't go under it, oh, wonderful love. I know I'm not a good singer and you always laugh at me. I hope this made you laugh even more because you know how bad I am at this. But hey, the Lord gave me a voice and I use it to glorify him. Bye-bye.